Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to designing test automation framework from scratch. So today, let's continue with our discussion on click the already commands. So let's look at some of the commands like click log and get tip. So you have to earlier. So let's look into those things. So we face some challenges over there. So what's the problem over there? Let's look into those things in detail. So basically we are seeing in the last session of the video the various directories that are available. That is the current working directory of the project and then the staging area and the local git repository and the central repository. This is how it was framed. And once you have the unsaved changes, if we do, if you wanted to save them, we need to use it using git add. Once we use git add, so that we are going to add indexes to the files, this we are moving them to staging area. So we have made the changes, unsaved changes to save changes. Once we have done it, we need to commit those changes so that once we commit it, once you remove those, uh, once you review those changes, and if you commit it, it will be moved to the local repository. That is, our working directory is now in sync with our local repository. And to push these changes to the central repository, we use the git push command. So the vice versa for getting the changes from central repository to our local git repository is by using git pull command. And post it, we need to update or synchronize our local git repository with the working directory. Assume if we add some unsaved changes and we added them to staging changes, uh, we added them to staging area using git add commit. But while we view, we found out that it was not proper. So we wanted to remove it from this staging area to the uh, staging area. So for that, we need to use the command called as git rm cached cache and the file name which we wanted to remove from the staging area. So this is the overall pictorial representation of git everyday commands. Let's uh, now look into git log for tracking the history of the commits and then git diff to verify the difference between the commits. So git diff is basically used to show us the changes that have been made. That is, if we had uh, index some files, so what is the, uh, the change that we have made? So from working directory to the staging area, what are the changes that have been made? If we had staged some changes, so from staging area, it shows like these are the changes that have been not synced with the local repository. So this is the line of code. This is changed. And this is a word that has been changed in this particular line. And it also gives in a high level uh, representation. Also, we can get in a high level idea using git diff. Uh, like the number of files that have been changed and also the number of lines that have been changed in the particular file. So let's see those things in brief in this session. So we are left with git lock and git diff. So first let's verify how to work with git diff. So the basic commands which we are going to use is git diff followed by some options. What are the various options that are available? So if you click the diff on the, you can see, so we have made one change that it was still pending to be committed. So let's see first the status of the changes so that we can understand and clear. So you can see, if you get status, you can verify what are the changes that have been left to commit. So this particular file, sample test.java has some changes and that was staged now. That is, we add added this file to the staging area using git add command. So we need to review and we need to commit it. So over here, we need to, we wanted to see what are the changes that have been made in this file. So for that, if we use the git, diff command so it is showing clearly so 
this is snapshot A and this is snapshot B. In both the snapshots, this is verifying the diff. So what is the diff between this one and this one? So it shows this is the line of code that has been changed. But you can clearly see I haven't changed my and edit in this line. But only I change this word in this line. But it shows as if you have changed the complete line. So this is not a very good idea. So for this we need to use some more option on top of the diff. We use git diff. Icon, icon, word, icon, diff. It shows. It is a, so we are saying that show it by the word word difference. So whatever the words that have been changed, we wanted to show it in that format. So this is a line of code that has been changed. In that line of code, we are able to see this is the word that has been removed and it has been replaced by this word. So this is very much specific about whatever the changes which we have made. But this was not specific, it just indicates the line of code change, but it was not specific, the word which has been changed. So this is a very good one to go with. So let's clear it. And now let's use one more command, git hyphen hyphen start. So So this gives a high level statistic. So you can see over here, one file has changed, and one insertion took place, and one deletion taken place. So it gives a very high level information for us. So these are the things which we wanted to very uh, work with. Kit diff. So these are the base commands that are very useful while working with git diff. So now let's see the commands that are useful while working with git log. So git log hyphen hyphen all. This gives all the commits related information. So who is the author? What is the date on which we are committed? And what is the commit ID? And what is the commit message? Now let's see another option git log icon all icon icon one line. So we wanted to have a quick view of the commits. So what is the commit ID and what is the message that we are given? This gives a very high level information of the commits. So the next option is git log icon icon all icon icon one line icon icon decorate so this gives you where the current head is pointing to head is pointing to master and the latest change that has occurred on master is this commit so this is the information that has been added if you use hyphen hyphen decorate now let's use the next option that is available hyphen hyphen graph so it shows how the branch has been diversed to the commits so you can see the view of how the diversion has taken place is started from here navigated to here a straight line so if some diversion branch has been created then we will be able to see how it has been diverged so that we will be looking at a branching and merging concept now let's clear all and let's see the final command one last command this gives a very good information just like a logging so you can see the commit id the date when is the commit had taken place and what is the commit message and where the head is pointing to and who is the person who has made these changes so this is very good information just as 
we are preparing the log it shows all the information so this is all what we want to do explainable part of the ready commands just now let's look at how to launch the graphical tool for that we have two commands that are available you can use git k that it gives a graphical overview it opens up So you can see, we can see the changes in the graphical manner. So you can see all the changes that have been made in the particular file. So this is the file that has been changed and the changes in the particular file. So let's close this one. Now let's open the kit's GUI tool. Kit's GUI tool. So this launches the graphical version of kit. You can see this is the graphical version of kit with GUI and it shows the branch where we are on project structure the already in the directory. So it was modified but not changed. So everything is clear over here. You can see over here. And if you want to commit, you can commit up. This is the current branch. The current branch shows it was in master one. So this is the graphical tool. The same, all the same things, all the things which we have done, we can do it from here also. You can commit, you can do stage to commit, stage files, unstage from commit, trigger changes, and you can open from here the git command line tool that is the git bash, and you can visualize the master history, now branch history. If you wanted to visualize all branches history, you can see this is what we are open using the git key command. So that is all as a part of the everyday command that we are going to use it. So that's what we have covered everything. And we also seen how to open, how to launch the graphical version of the tool, and also we are seen the various perspectives that will be very, you know, very much utilized as a part of it. So thanks guys, thanks for watching.